Yeah, then. Yeah. There we go. So it is pouring with rain again at the moment. The squirrel has been, but I've missed him. Um, and I've also been on the phone to Second Chance Fox Rescue and spoken in depth to Steve about Mr Limpy. With Mr Limpy, it's a sprain or a strain. If the leg was broken, it would flop left to right. If it should go backwards and forwards, that indicates more of a sprain. Um, it does look like he's got slight swelling in his ankle area again that would be a sprain if i could target feed him and get some pain relief or anti-inflammatories into him it would heal a lot quicker however he is very hard to target feed because he runs the moment i attempt to go anywhere outside so all i can do at the moment is keep trying with the homeopathic um, treatment that i've got and hope that it will help him if he would be like the others and just come that little bit closer so I could target feed him 
then we've got more chance of treating him more successfully. So the injury could take longer than usual because he's having to do it on his own. And what we have to remember is he's a wild fox and out in the wild he wouldn't have any help whatsoever. So all I can do is do what I'm doing with him. Um, there isn't anything else. There's no point in trying to trap him because it would cause more distress. Plus, there are seven foxes coming here at the moment, and the cats and the badgers, so we could end up trapping any of them, rather than just the one that we're trying to trap. So, um, basically, I've got to leave it as it is at the moment, and just carry on as I am, keep an eye on him, and try to get some medication in him when and if I can. So please rest assured, it is a strain or a sprain, and it will heal, it just may take some time. So, as much as it's not nice to see, um, there isn't anything else I can do apart from what I'm doing. Also, his tail is looking slightly thin. Again, that could be the start of mange. So again, it's trying to get some treatment into him. Without target feeding him, I can't put mange treatment out because it needs to go to the specific fox that needs it. However, I've got the homeopathic stuff, so I can try getting that into him. Um, and just see how it goes it just takes a lot longer uh, to get into the system with the homeopathic treatment but i'll do my best with him as always and i'm just still looking at a name for him there's been a lot of suggestions rusty seems to be um, a favorite but rusty is quite a common name for a fox so I, I just like to be slightly different so if anybody wants to come out with some more slightly different uh, comments please feel free because I am looking at all, all comments, as you know. Okay, I'm off to do some shopping soon, and I will see you later. Come on then. I love the way they pick through the nuts and then decide which ones they're going to take but eventually they take all of them anyway so can't be anything wrong with them my lunch today is a cheese and pickled onion sandwich with pickled onion flavored monster munch and then for my dessert i'm having that we haven't been out yet as we've had a friend over so i'm not even dressed yet but I will be getting dressed and we will be going shopping later because I do need to pick up some nuts for the squirrel and I need to pick up chicken for the foxes. So it will be a late day shopping today. And here we are again because we need to get more chicken. Thanks to Jimmy and Cookie, greedy little monkeys that they are. So yeah, more chicken. I'm going to get some more chicken that I can cook as well. So I've got a few bags in stock then.